and today I'm going to talk about a Stanley Mascot and a Primus at a solo. There's a lot of controversy between Primus and uh, Jetboil. I have which one's better. I really could care less. I have both. Oh, I don't have my uh, grand, my uh, stepdad has um, some Glacier or something, MSR, um, Jetboil, and I have the Primus. So we have a bunch of different companies and so far I like the Primus. Um, so first off, I'm going to talk about uh, AJ's new mess kit. Since he hasn't had a mess kit, we were at, I hate to say it, Target today. But it's it's a cheap, durable mess kit. Um, so it just has this little handle. Stick it in the fire. It comes off with this little, I hate to say plastic, but, you know, the steel would get too hot. But if you, that probably want to get too hot, maybe. I don't know if they're thinking. In here, they just have two cups, two sturdy, very sturdy plastic cups. Um, you're probably just gonna leave one in and just keep this other one out, so you can put a put some food rations in here, put some sporks, put a fire kit maybe. So um, that's just that. It's just plastic cups, stainless steel, pretty durable. It actually has a measuring thing on the side so you actually can see how much water you have. Um, it's just a, you squeeze these two handles together, pop it open, pop it out, and they just pop this up and then stick it on. So it's not the best mess kit in the world. I hate to say it, but you know, my MSR Seagull, it's, it's a pretty awesome one. It's, it's very versatile and it works really well for me, but I'm sure this will work very well for him. Because it, it's it, it's a Stanley, and they make they make strong tools. So they make strong tools. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make a strong piece of steel that you can cook stuff in. So that's his new mess kit, and that'll be a new addition to his bag. And here is my Primus Um, it's you guys will just dump it all out. This is what goes on the uh, yeah, clips clips on the bottom here. Somewhere in my is this thing, jet boil power. Just take the cap off, screw this on here, then snap this on here, and then you um, you have to actually light it because some last time I tried to use this it didn't work. So I don't know. I mean, the first time I used it, it was amazing and it worked really well. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. In fact, I have no clue what it's for, and I don't read directions because I'm an American, so I don't read directions. Also, the cool thing about this is it comes with these little metal prongs. What you can do is you can stick these in the de designated designated area around this, and then I'll actually show you is. <laughs> You can stick, uh, maybe this is too small. Uh, this looks like it's too small. But usually you can stick a mess kit. Oh, yeah, you can stick a mess kit on this. And you can burn it instead of having to use this. So you, if you don't have this, you can just... Well, I don't know why I wouldn't have this. But you can use a frying pan over this. You can use a larger pot. So this, this has many uses. Also, so sometimes you're in rocky areas and you want, and sometimes you don't have a flat place to uh, put it. So, Primus came up with a pretty darn cool idea. I don't know if I can find it. Here it is, I had it messed up. You see, there's a little pawn on the end of this, and you just slide it into a notch. And what you do, is you can, um, you can hang it. Hang it off a tree with this clipped on, this one. You can hang it from a tree. That's why this, this isn't right. This is wire. So you can hang this onto a tree, or hang it off a branch, or something. You can hang it off really anything if you could find a place to tie it down. So I'm still not very sure on this. I'm not 100. Um, percent I I don't even understand what it would even come close to being for. So um, also I'm gonna show you. Since I'm going on a camping trip, I'm going to show you. Of course, I'm not going to take my uh, 
uh, medium Alice because it would probably be a little, little bit too small. Um, I bought the big one, of course, because this will last you quite a while, and it's four seasons. But if you got the small one, the backpacker version, you can you can fit it inside here. So that's a cool thing. Okay, so that's so now this is a three hundred dollar bag. So I wouldn't recommend buying this for people that have no money and want to just start out on buying a backpack. Okay, because this is a very expensive backpack. It's not even my backpack. It's my uh, stepdad's backpack. He's again a backpacker. So this is a Gregor Gregory. Uh, I believe it's a Gregory. Gregory. And it's a 35 liter. Perfectly fine for what I'm going to use it for. Usually, this is a backpacking backpack. But what I like to do is I like to um, use these as camping bags. Because I don't like duffel bags. What I do is I fit everything I need in here. Fit clothes, tooth, uh, uh, um, hygiene kit, um, survival kit, cook kit, fire kit. Everything I need for the camping trip I put in here. Sleeping bag and camp pillow all fit in here. Um, but we don't, we don't, uh, we just made an investment into a uh, Orbit Fleetwood 200. So we don't tent camp anymore because my mom's terrified of bears. So <laughs> we don't tent camp anymore because my mom doesn't do well with bears. So um, this is my camping, well, my camping bag kind of. Oh! And also, I wanted to show you guys. As you probably remember, my old axe. I broke. Yeah. So I got another. Well, this is an old, old one. It's my. It was my grandfather's axe. Yeah. Just gave it a nice edge. Put some electrical tape on it. And that's also a new addition that I've been meaning to show you guys. Yeah. So whatever. I'm crossing for surviving the wilds. This is a large carabiner. And I hope to see you on the next video.